Ecolab is a uh, company that's been around for a while. Your business is mostly based around water, testing chemicals in water, water systems, water management systems. How do you come at this topic? Where is the opportunity for Ecolab to capitalize on this sensor revolution and apply it to systems in cities? Is this something you're really energized about? Yeah, I, I guess if I was going to define, we do water, we do hygiene. Hygiene, invariably, prime ingredient is water. So yeah, we treat water in many applications and pretty much throughout the industrial complex. Whether it's power, steel, mining, paper, water is kind of the secret elixir that we use in virtually every manufacturing process. It's pretty obvious in food, but it's probably not as obvious in everything else that's made. So we see all these applications. I, I guess two things. One, we're already wiring in industrial applications because you have the advantage of scale. And so you have, if you can reduce water and energy by 30% in a very large industrial application, you can justify a lot of capital. That, that same justification math doesn't quite work yet on smaller building sites, but it soon will over a piece of time. So I'd say right now what we're working and concentrating on is learning how to do this in industrial applications. And so we're literally monitoring tens of thousands of manufacturing sites now in a facility that happens to be in Pune, India, it could be anywhere, to understand water usage, when they're out of spec, what's going on. And that learning obviously is something that we can learn to apply. But it's, it's purpose specific. And I think when I hear smart cities and even in prep, there's this concept of this big bang and all of a sudden we're gonna have all this data and what are we gonna go do? I mean, at the end of the day, you've gotta design something to accomplish something. I don't know how you're just gonna make a, you know, take a dumb city and make it smart. For what end? And I think there needs to really be a conversation about what we're trying to accomplish here. And if it's water and energy reduction, that's easily targeted. And I think something that we can get after. If it's also reducing capital pressure and everything else on systems, then you might end up targeting and getting after the process in a different way. But a city is a big complicated beast. And if you're gonna tackle it, I would imagine you're gonna do it a process at a time.